I just don't care enough about the game. <laughs> Not right now. <laughs> All right, we're into the match here. We've got uh, Velvet Sack playing Molina against. Like playing against Foodie using Sonya. Lots of Sonya players today. Hmm. Velvet going, uh, trying to get full damage. Does miss the input though. Misses input again. Uh, may not be using his controller. May just be used to online timing. <laughs> that might be what's going on here. Either way, Molina's got an advantage. So any player trying to flail with some jump punches. Not I've working out. I've definitely seen Velvet hit his combo. So I've got to imagine it's either a controller issue or just the fact that he's been playing too much online. Possibly. And Molina was... Correct me if I'm wrong, uh, the character who got second place at EVO, right? That is correct. Rio did take second place with Molina at EVO. VVV Rio. VVV. Oh, man. That might be awkward when they come to Devastation. What? They, they did talk to me for a bit last year at Devastation. VVV did. Okay, well, Borderland Gaming also talked to me. Yeah, they did. And they were like, hey, Juice Box. We will give you a date with Kyle please if you come to Portland game. Except. <laughs> and we are back again. Who won the first match? It wasn't paying. Oh, uh, Velvet Sack won the first match. Velvet Sack wins. Yep. You can tell because Velvet Sack is playing the purple character. The purple character wins? Yeah. At all times? Pretty much. Okay. When one of the na players' names is Velvet Sack. Just saying. He should play Rain. He should stop playing this, this not girly enough character. He needs to play Rain. Anyway, <laughs> Sonya's got x rays. Random leg grab there by Foodie. I wonder yeah, it if looks Foodie like the Sony player is trying to get in and isn't having too much success. I wonder if Foodie likes the food now. Velvet Sack with the X-ray. Definitely has the advantage in this match. Trying to close it out, but Foodie jumping around being extremely agile. Trying to, uh, to not okay. let Velvet Sack get that last hit does not succeed. As Velvet Sack takes the round. This could be the very last round for Foodie. This is match point for Velvet Sack. Velvet Sack going for the max damage. Does not quite get it, but still gets still a good Still ends with an uppercut. Mm -hmm. One of the better combo enders. Shout out to Mortal Kombat 1. Shout outs. Dropping this combo again. I've really got to imagine that something is wrong with Velvet Sack because he usually does hit these combos. Nice forward throw there. Get that spacing, and here comes the size. Velvet Sack now just hitting the air. He's like, I don't even need to hit you. I'm not going to get near you. I'm just going to, you know, gonna do over right, right now. Oh. Unless she x-rays. Who'd have guessed? Foodie was like, I'm not done yet. Now, if you were thinking two steps ahead, you'd say, what happens after that? And Foodie loses in the 